Hello everyone, I am Nirmal Jadwani, student of Christ University, Lavasa campus. Uh, I'll be talking about a case comment slash case analysis of the case is, uh, which has been assigned to me is State of Bombay versus FN Balasar. Uh, citation is AIR uh, 1951 and SC318. So what happened is the starting with the facts of the case is uh, that FN Balasar, uh, Balasar stated that he should be granted permission to write to use his right to store whiskey, brandy, wine, beer and medicines and among other things. And he also noted that he might be used and imported and exported within the custom limits of the country. Furthermore, the government must not prevent him from engaging in such a behaviour under the Prohibition Act since it was his personal right and must grant comparable orders under the specific relief act. Balasar presented himself as the Indian citizen and filed a suit. First, it was suit, uh, f a suit was filed in Bombay High Court. Later on, uh, the remedies were given, a few acts were, uh, in sections were given as illegal and uh, both of the parties were still not satisfied and they were still uh, um, not satisfied so they went uh, so they appealed in supreme court so there were two major uh, the two issues that were there in the supreme court were first whether the bombay prohibition act 1949 was valid secondly whether the judgment of the bombay high court be upheld in the relation to the provisions declared void the major uh, laws that were involved in this first was article 132 clause 1 in which the, it was an appellant jurisdiction where the, the parties filed an appeal in Supreme Court. Second, entry 31 list 2, which talks about the intoxicating liquors and narcotics, that is to say that the production of manufacturer, possession, transport, purchase and sale of intoxication, liquors, opium, others, narcotic drugs will, uh, to the provisions of list 1, as respect of the poison drugs, to the provisions of list 3. Next, an entry 19 list 1, import and export of across custom as by the defined dom uh, dominion government. L lastly, article 19 1G which talks about the, the right to freedom of to practice any profession or to carry out any occupation, trade or business. What's happened is that uh, the, this is prob uh, the, these were the issues then the case uh, the Supreme Court uh, held not the held that uh, the ratio what relied on the judgment was that the court held the word import does not include either sale or possession of the article imported into the country by the person residing in the territory of the country of import hence there is no conflict between entry 31 of list 2 and entry 19 of list 1 which talks about the first and dispute so lately and found it difficult to hold that the bombay provision act uh, that the Bombay Provision Act till it restricts the possession use foreign liquor is an encroachment in the area of list 1 is to the federal legislation under entry 1 it, and this case also talks about a very important concept that is called a pith and substance concept which basically talks about the what is means that which is happens to concern the true character and the nature of the legislation that is that if there is an overlap of one legislation to one other that is between the legis uh, um, union list and the state list and the laws are made in concurrent list by the state central legislation and by the union legislature sorry the state legislature if there is an overlap then the concept of pith and substance which was uh, first talked in the first this case was taken into place. This uh, pith and substance was uh, took it uh, gave a explicitly differentiate between what encroached upon the matters of the central list to which the laws were made. Later on, after this uh, and 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 therefore the prima facie nothing was wrong was found in the legislation according to the special treatment to the persons from class by themselves in many respects, and who have treated in such various and act and therefore. There were few sections which uh, affects the this restricts the uh, were termed as illegal and which were uh, illegal in the Bombay restriction where the court gave a judgment uh, judgment in the brief I'll uh, I'll conclude the judgment in a very brief manner which uh, is that the honourable Supreme observed that according to the entry thirty one of the list the state legislature has the authority to prohibit. The key keeping sale entirely and the use of intoxication wine as a reason there is no disagreement between the states 
it was decided that if Supreme Court enacted any act in the legislation that restricts the limit or export items indicated in entry 27 and 29 of the list outside the boundaries of the state, <coughs> this indicates that the act is unlawful. Though it was enacted and exempted, uh, uh, granted to army personnel, land forces, masses, and water ships, cannot be considered unconstitutional under 37. As a response, Supreme Court ruled that some portions of the Prohibition Act were unconstitutional. These regulations dealt with storage of alcohol, medicines and toiletries as well as the say. The remaining sections were deemed to be legitimate and valid. And thus, because of this, because of certain illegal, the entire act cannot be deemed as illegal. Concluding everything is that in the present, it can be concluded that the complete restriction of alcohol in many is conceivable unless possessed for human consumption, for such as trade, such a trade cannot be called harmful. However, the state listener may collect taxes on the possession of alcoholic beverages appropriate of human use because they are deemed luxurious. As a result, the state only enacts a subject over this constitutional authority. The act is legible. And however, there is one thing uh, about this case is that it has been overruled by the case of Synthetics and Chemicals uh, Limited versus the state of UP, which, the, which makes this case overruled. Thank you.